Hi there, welcome to Sir Matego channel. Today I am going to discuss special right triangles. The first special right triangle is 30 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree right triangle. Look at this figure. The basis for our angle is 30 degrees. The side opposite to this angle is called the opposite side. The diagonal is the hypotenuse and the other leg is called the adjacent side. If the basis for our angle is 60 degrees, then the side opposite to 60 degrees is called opposite side. The diagonal is called the hypotenuse and the other leg is the adjacent side. In 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees right triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is equal to twice the length of the shorter leg. So if the shorter leg is A, then the hypotenuse is 2A. The length of the longer leg is square root of 3 times the shorter leg. So if the shorter leg is A, then the longer leg is A square root of 3. For example, if A is equal to 5, then the hypotenuse is 2 times 5 or 10. And the longer leg is 5 times the square root of 3. Now let us prove this special right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Let us substitute this from the given sides of our triangle. Examine closely how the equation is simplified. And the result is 4a squared is equal to 4a squared. And this is a true statement. Therefore, we are able to see that this theorem is correct. Furthermore, we can still prove that the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. That is, c is equal to 2a. Let us use the Pythagorean theorem and substitute these values of a and b, or the shorter leg and the longer leg, to the Pythagorean theorem. And we want to prove that it is really 2a. The shorter leg is already a, and the longer leg, which is b, is a square root of 3. Now, simplifying, we have c is equal to 2a. We prove that the hypotenuse is equal to 2a using the Pythagorean theorem. We also would want to prove that the longer leg is equal to the shorter leg times the square root of 3, or a square root of 3. So we will use the Pythagorean theorem and substitute the given values to the Pythagorean theorem. In the equation, we will use the information of a and c. c is equal to 2a. So we want to find b. Simplifying, we have this answer. We have b is equal to a square root of 3. We prove that the longer leg is a square root of 3. Using the same special right triangle, we can find the six trigonometric ratios. And uh, let us start with an angle of 30 degrees. So to begin, we find sine 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, that is a over 2a. We cancel a, and the final answer is 1 over 2. Cosine 30 degrees is adjacent side over hypotenuse, that is a square root of 3 over 2a. We cancel a. We have square root of 3 over 2. Tangent 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent, that is a over a square root of 3. We cancel a. We have 1 over square root of 3. 
But we want to remove the radical sign in the denominator. So we have to rationalize the denominator. We multiply square root of 3 over square root of 3. So we have 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. That is 3. So we have square root of 3 over 3. Cotangent 30 degrees is a square root of 3 over a. We cancel a. So we have square root of 3. Second is hypotenuse over adjacent. That is 2a over a square root of 3. We remove or we cancel a. So we have 2 over square root of 3. We are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying this by square root of 3 over square root of 3. Finally, we have 2 square root of 3 over 3. Cosecant 30 degrees is hypotenuse over opposite side. That is 2a over a. So we cancel a and the remaining is 2. Now we also would want to find the 6 trigonometric ratios using 60 degree angle. In this case, our opposite side is a square root of 3 and the adjacent side is a with our hypotenuse 2a. Sine 60 degrees is a square root of 3 over 2a. Cancel a. We have square root of 3 over 2. Cosine 60 degrees is a over 2a. Cancel a. We have 1 over 2. Tangent 60 degrees is a square root of 3 over a. Cancel a. We have square root of 3. Cotangent 60 degrees is a over a square root of 3. Cancel a. We have 1 over square root of 3. But we want to avoid the radical sign in the denominator. So we need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying this by square root of 3 over square root of 3. And finally, our answer is square root of 3 over 3. Second 60 degrees is 2a over a, which is equal to 2. The last one is cosecant 60 degrees. That is 2a over a square root of 3. The final answer is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Our next special right triangle is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees right triangle. In this special right triangle, the legs are congruent. The length of the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times the length of a leg. For example, if the leg is 5, the hypotenuse is 5 square root of 2. We want to prove this statement using the Pythagorean theorem, which is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. But in this case, our a and b are equal. So we change b to a. And simplifying, the value for c is a square root of 2. Now given this triangle, we want to find the 6 trigonometric ratios. Let's start with sine 45 degrees. That is a over a square root of 2. And that is 1 over square root of 2. But we need to rationalize this denominator so we have square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 45 degrees is a over a square root of 2. This is the same with sine 45 degrees. So this is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Tangent 45 degrees is a over a which is equal to 1. Cotangent 45 degrees is a over a that is equal to 1. Second 45 degrees is a square root of 2 over a that is square root of 2 and cosecant 45 degrees is also a square root of 2 over a 
that is square root of 2. Here is the summary of the special right triangles with 6 trigonometric ratios. You don't need to memorize these values. You only need to understand the two special right triangle theorems and then you would be able to generate these values. Here is a very simple problem. The shorter leg of a 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees right triangle is 12 centimeters. Find the other two sides and the values of six trigonometric ratios. Bear in mind that the values of the six trigonometric ratios for special right triangles do not change. Another is, if a leg of a 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees right triangle is 8 centimeters, find the hypotenuse and the values of the 6 trigonometric ratios. Try this.